everybody, and welcome to MTU Esports. Today, our MTU Huskies Rocket League varsity team is taking on Lubbock Christian University in the NACE Varsity Premier League. I'm Azlef900. And I'm Jake. I go by Scrimpy. Taking a look at Michigan Tech's roster today, we have the usual three, Tater, Stewie, and Grapes, uh, Grape, excuse me, starting today. And for Lubbock Christian, who do we got? Uh, we have Royal, Process, Snow, and Schmacked. Yeah. Um, so, so far, the Huskies are off to a really good start to their year. They're currently sitting at 3-0, and and they have not dropped a single game yet this season. LCU is currently 3-1, and and they've swept St. Xavier and Kansas State with a 3-1 to series loss to St. Clair, who is a really just powerhouse team in this conference. So they might not have the perfect record to back it up, but their only loss is to an incredible team. So this expect this one to be really solid. And taking a look at ranks as well, they have two SSLs on their team just like us, a couple grand champs to back them up. So a really intense, exciting match here today, hopefully. Yeah, because it's been um, kind of like a forfeit into like a little one-sided steam steamrolling. So yeah. I'm I'm excited for a close match, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. It's, I mean, obviously as a, as a Husky fan, I'm excited to see just win after win after win in the re in the record books here. But it's been a little bit since we've seen this team tested. I mean, Grape is a new addition to the starting roster here for us too. So it's going to be interesting to see how this team stacks up against similar levels of talent. And I mean. This match is really going to determine uh, who has the best chance to stand up to St. Clair in what will almost certainly be a, con a conference championship matchup. Because, honestly, St. Clair is probably a top 10 team in the world right now in Collegiate yep. Rocket League. It's, it's spooky. So, yeah, they're, they're, they're scary. We'll see them in a few weeks uh, in our regular season matchup. But uh, LCU already have taken them on, so we'll see how that goes. But just waiting for the players to load into the lobby here. So, um I guess anything else you want to note before we get going here? You've been the one on the caster desk for the past couple weeks with this team. Just anything that you've noticed so far? I, I am like complete Rocket League noob, and it's like the only other game I can commentate that's not Smash. So for me, for me, it's a it's a big learning curve, right? Because I'm not super familiar uh, with the game, uh, especially in any kind of competitive format either. I mean, I've kind of like like dribbled dribbled around a little bit. Um, so for me, for me, it's been a lot of learning and a lot mm -hmm. of like, wow, these guys are kind of cracked. Yeah. <laughs> so. I, I mean, like it's, especially when you first get, uh, like used to SSL level players, like they it's just like, this is not the rocket league that I know. No, <laughs> like I, I'm no. used to just driving around, having a nice little game on the grass, just getting to like jump around. And, like, it's like, wow, I jumped yeah. and hit the ball and pass it to my teammate. That mm -hmm. felt good. It's like, no, this is, yeah. this is really, really high level stuff. Yeah, so then, then you see Stewie go score eight goals in a game and just like. Yeah. Look like a madman doing it the whole time. It's pretty ridiculous stuff. Um, but as we continue to wait for the players to load in, uh, real quick, if you're a tech student, do you need a do you need to be close to campus? We have places for that. Find the perfect location. Live where you want to live at HoughtonForRent.com. So check out Bradway Enterprises at HoughtonForRent.com if you're looking for a place next year or maybe mid-year if you're looking for a switch. But anyway, it's just exciting stuff. It's, I, I, going in, I wasn't expecting LCU to have – this caliber of a roster, honestly, before I was doing my early research, it's, yep. it's a name I'm not super familiar with. They're not in the same region as us, so we haven't seen them at like local competitions, things like that. Yeah, there's like, a, there's like, oh, okay, another another blowout win, right? And there's mm -hmm. like, oh, a couple beads oh, of wait. sweat, there, yeah, yeah you know, like dripping <laughs> down your forehead, right? This roster's got a little bit of heat to it, yeah. <laughs> so it's it's gonna be exciting to see how they stack up because I mean, like there there are Grand Champ level players on the other teams that we've played so far, so it's it's not like Michigan Tech's been playing nobodies or anything. Like these yep. are solid, really good players. Um, but it seems like LCU should be probably the strongest opponent they've played so far. So it's gonna be really interesting. Things, to see. things are heating up. I, I don't know. I have a, I have a lot of faith uh, in our Huskies, right? Same I mean, here. They've, they're they're kind of cracked. I mean, I've seen I've seen a lot They're of crazy nuts. stuff. Um, like I'm like, oh, you know, I start biting my nails. Like we're down two, and they mm -hmm. just score like five goals, and you know, yeah, like, there's no no signs of slowing <laughs> it, down. So it feels like they've more been playing for fun than anything else so far. Like they like it, it feels like. They're in control whenever they like desperately feel like they yeah. Need whenever to be. they need to like give it the gas a little bit, exactly. right? Exactly. So this is this is gonna be I think the first real test of the season for the Huskies. So we'll see how it goes. Um, if you're just stopping in, uh, make sure to hit that follow button. Uh, follow us on Twitch here at MTU Esports. Follow us on YouTube as well. It's the same Ring tag, the just at MTU Esports. Ring that notification <laughs> bell. Let's get five <laughs> likes on this video, boys. Oh my God. But um, yeah, like it's. We're seeing a lot of things get going now. We're like we're getting VODs uploaded to YouTube now, which is a pretty new thing for us here. Um, so just, you know, trying to make sure that everybody can keep caught up on all the teams they Some care about here at MTU Esports. for MTU Esports. Absolutely. Stay tuned. But yeah. Uh, also, this match appears to be getting restreamed on Nace, so we have to make sure that everything is in sync on both ends of the broadcast here. 
but hopefully in the next couple of moments we will be getting this match started. Um, yep. So right now we have the nice picture of the the ball we're staring mm -hmm. at and the, the monitors. The beauty of Champions Field in front of us right now. You're in Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Um. Yes. How are things, Jevin? What's what's going on in your life right now? <laughs> um. I just got a new two new YouTube videos uploaded. So I have the main so. channel and the gaming channel. Uh, the gaming channel, I do Minecraft and uh, Pokemon card stuff, right? So unboxings and also just showing off some, like, archetypes and different decks. Mm -hmm. um, and then on the main channel, just release a new video. I do a lot of theology and cryptocurrency stuff. Nice. So that sounds interesting to you. Uh, you know, check out my channels, as left 900 as left 900 gaming right. It looks like we're heading into the match yep. here. Game one getting underway here. Michigan Tech in, in the yellow and Lubbock Christian in the blue. Right now getting tossed up. Around midfield, here comes Schmack looking for a shot directly onto the MTU goal. Uh, grape gonna get there in time though. The, the grape save, oh my god, it's the, it's the pun that just gets staler and staler, <laughs> but it's, it's funny. A mm -hmm. little bit of early pressure there from LCU, but Michigan Tech so far holding strong. Stewie with Stewie! a fast break, and that's nobody Stewie in front. Go! Not oh, gonna catch no! it in time. Oh Schmack god. is gonna get right behind it. Grape, grape with the rebound, keeping it going. Process gonna deflect this one back Process, up in the air. He was Royal there. To follow up. Grape gonna get there first. Oh my early god! Point okay. there for Michigan Tech, less I than 30 seconds into I game one. I love like the patient wait just in front of the goal there. Just like, I'm just gonna chill for a moment. And I think, oh my God, look, they just yeah. like stop. Some, sometimes that slow approach, I mean, it's really, you get into the habit of thinking that they need to move at max speed at all times to keep up with the ball. But sometimes just being slow, being patient, let the play develop in front of you is so important in Rocket League. That's always the and weird that thing in any competitive, Ooh. nice save. Uh, any, in any competitive, uh, you know, mm -hmm. any, anything competitive period is like, Reacting to where, you know, the play is going to be and not where it is necessarily Let right now. From Stewie. Oh, my goodness. Ah! Schmack okay, able to get there in save. time. Stewie with the crazy. He is so good with those aerials. Absolutely. Tater and Stewie, a little bit of an uncomfortable pinch there. Royal's going to have a shot on the goal here. Stewie going to get there in time. Save, right but the follow-up. Royal is yeah, going to get the. Yeah, it looked really, really scary. I was yeah. like, I don't know if we're getting out of this one. If all, um, mm -hmm. you know, three of uh, Lubbock right there. I think just a little bit of a miscue there between Tater and Stewie, both going for that ball. Winds up being an uncomfortable pinch off the sidewall. One, one. This is a tense game. It's only been 15 yes. seconds, right? Uh, about a minute so oh, far. Oh, a minute. Yeah. Okay. My, my, mm. my display is a little, a little messy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we'll get that fixed for you in a bit. But now Grape going up. Royal going to get the deflection. Keeping it around mid-pitch for now. Stewie with the follow-up. Has a little bit of boost to work the with. Crazy the crazy Oh, the flip reset. Royal. Royal, he was there. And now Tater trying to follow up. Grape looking for a play on this ball as well. Going to field it. Send it back to the corner. Yep, get it out of here. Out of the corner. Nice aerial. Lubbock is there, putting it in the corner. I thought it said princess for a second. That'd be so cute. <laughs> I've almost misread it a couple times too, actually. <laughs> I misread all the names. There was like, there's like one week where it was like, they had like the same names. Yeah. It was so bad. <laughs> all right, Tater looking to catch up to Smacked here, not allowing any easy shots. Tater oh my God, this keeping one. it slow. Yep, slow it down a little bit. 70 boost left in the tank for Tater, looking for a way to follow this up. Gonna redeflect it, keeping it towards the middle of the field. Don't want to give LCU any more easy shots. About two minutes into game one, game is tied at one apiece. Tater deflects it back to the corner. Process pops it up. Grape going to deflect against this one. Nice job. Love, Runs out of boost. I love keeps it going. Corner League. Corner League is like my favorite eSport. <laughs> there, there are some games where it will stay in the same corner for a good minute and a half. It's just a deadlock. It's, <laughs> it, it, it can be really interesting. Like I, I, I know oh. it's a lot of a joke, but yeah. MTU, where were you? Schmack. Bring it up to 2-1 for Lubbock. Let's see what happens here. Just nobody in the goal for MTU. Grape and Tater both bite on that and just rolled right down. A little, little too heavy on offense there. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit too eager to get that ball cleared. And Tater and Grape neither had a good look on it. And Schmacked able to pick up an easy point there for LCU. Taking the lead here in game one. Just under three minutes left. Stewie with the redirect process will get there in time, though. And now here comes Schmack keeping the ball moving. Grape not able to block it. The follow-up from Stewie keeps the ball in play. Stewie sending it right back over, looking to set up a teammate. Here comes a deflection, a shot. Tater finds the back ah, of the net. We are go. tied Bring right back up. up. To two and two. Really nice work here, just insisting on this setup. Stewie eventually ow, finds the ow. way in. Oh, my God. Schmack goes for a diving save, but not going to find it. Tater rocking the bronze goal explosion <laughs> is incredible, by the way. Oh, my God. All right. 2.30 left here. Stewie looking for the follow-up. Not going to find it off the first touch. Sends it up to the wall. Schmack might have a shot here. Goes for a flip reset. Not going to uh, find Stewie's it. Stewie's like, no, no shot. Get it out of here. Process putting it back in the corner. 
And Royal with the follow-up, not going to find it. Tater keeping this ball moving in the right direction for Michigan Tech. Process going to deflect it quickly, you, though. You Stewie. talk like a soccer commentator, too. You got, like, the I'm speed trying. and the momentum. But, uh, 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 we got we to hit some, like, goal <laughs> that, like, lasts for, like, three minutes. Oh, I'm saying. Got to learn Spanish for the bit, just for Rocket League. Here we go. <laughs> Becoming fluent in another <laughs> language for the bit. Oh, cute little demo there. All right. Schmack sends the ball to the corner. Stewie going to find... A way to get a clear here, but immediately followed by Royal Process. That's on target. Tater sends it back off the wall. Stewie needs a deflection oh, and is going to go, get Stewie! it. Still tied. Less than two minutes to go. Royal with the deflection. Tater oh. not going to get there in time. And LCU once again taking the lead. 3-2 to two now. Definitely plenty of time left on the clock here for Michigan Tech. L LCU definitely living up to their, their reputation we talked about earlier is like being like, like, ah, this is the first scary team. We little, played all little scary bit. Right. Let's see what happens here. Process going for the first touch. Stewie going to fake it. And oh. I believe that's Tater going for the aerial play. Going to get around Schmack. Looking for a setup. Oh. Stewie was there, but Royal able to get the deflection first. So clean. Put it in the corner. Risky business here for Michigan Tech. Going to get out of this one for now, though. Process sends it back towards the goal. And again, oh. Tater and Great both going for the save. Somebody needs to stay back in goal and make sure there's no follow-up possibility. Just that miscue, that's going to be something where, like I said, Grape is is joining the starting roster this semester. That's something that these two need to work, work on communicating a little bit more. Learn how, to, learn how to work together with your teammates. This exactly. is, of course, like a, a team game, right? Yeah. Down two goals, about 80 seconds left on the clock. Stewie tries to send it to, uh, towards the LCU goal, but not going to find it. Schmack with the follow-up, not going to find a double touch. Royal is, but oh, Schmack so actually. Scary. Grape gets it out of there. Tater deflects oh, it again. Great, great save from Tater. Process pops the ball up at midfield, looking to slow down this Michigan Tech push a little bit. Don't want to give up a quick point here. That's the one thing LCU cannot allow. Great pops the ball back up off the wall, but not going to find anything there. Schmack sends a pop up, flying over to the other side of the pitch. Tater going to field it, keeps it low to the ground, trying to outrun these LCU players. Not going to find it. 45 seconds left. Stewie, 1v1 aerial situation. Not going to oh, find it. What process, a save by Barely process. getting it out of there. Tater, follow through. Stewie might be Stewie, able to have a shot. Nope, going to fall back, get some boost. Grape Great. needs to field this one, able to. 30 seconds left now. MTU needs to get moving if they want to take game one. A nice shot from Stewie. That's oh on target. God. That was oh nuts. My goodness, that was Stewie. nuts. All right, bring it back. MTU, 40 seconds on the clock. Look seconds. at this. Just beautiful single oh, little tap oh. by Stewie. Sometimes that's all you need. Nobody just, in the just, LCU goal ready to defend just, it. 30 just little, seconds. This little love tap. This little love tap. 30 seconds to go. Down one. Michigan Tech still needs some more firepower on offense if they want to force OT. Grape going for a clear, going to take it up into the air. Royal, a little back able to block it action. though, 20 seconds. Stewie. Redirected down to Stewie, not going to find it. 19 seconds now, Schmack looking for a clear. That could have pretty much been the dagger, but not going to find it there. Grape on the back wall, 15 seconds. Needs to get a big push here. Going to get it, quickly deflected by Royal, excuse me. Stewie, final few seconds, Dribbling. ticking down. Needs to go for a dribble here. Gets around two players for LCU. Stewie with a redirect towards the goal. Tainer, not no! going to find it. Clock is at zero, and oh. LCU just Barely going to take game one, despite some last-second fireworks there from Michigan Tech. We're just learning the matchup. Yeah, exactly. we're, this is a scouting game, obviously. We're, we're just, just, this, is, this is a scouting game. Yeah, come on. A goal apiece for all three MTU players there. Two from Royal, one from Schmack, one from Process. Really solid team effort from both teams there, really. Uh, all around, all, every player showing up to play by the looks of it here. It's just going to be a matter of can MTU beat them out in this, what looks like it could be, a, a seriously, a massive shootout here coming up in these next four games. Yeah. But really exciting stuff to see so far. But if you're looking for a way to spice up your style, University Images is your official headquarters for authentic Michigan Tech Huskies apparel. University owned, university operated. University Images located right here in the SDC or go to bookstore.mtu.edu. Thank you so much to University Images for sponsoring the stream. But Also, looking, oh, what do we got? Be sure to follow us on Twitter. There we go. Uh, at MTU Esports to get daily updates about our upcoming matches and results. Yeah. Been real, really exciting to see just how much we're able to get going on Twitter like now. Social social media yeah. presence this this semester has been like <sighs> ugh, the grind. I right? like I like waking up on my uh, like the day after my off day and just seeing Huskies win on my feed every single morning. It's it's been pretty great to see so far. <laughs> so if you want to wake up and have a little smile on your face from seeing the Huskies beating somebody up in an esports matchup, make sure to follow us on at MTU Esports on Twitter. But going into game two, Michigan Tech, a solid game in game one, but not enough to take down this LCU offense. We, we, were, just, we were just learning the matchup. We were just learning the matchup. Yeah. We'll see if they learned 
quickly here at the start of game two. Stewie with a booming clear, sending it right down the pitch. Smack going to feel it to the corner. Redeflect it. And Grape is going to find an opportunity to set up Stewie, but a little bit too hotly contested there from LCU. Not going to be able to find the back of the net here. Nice oh, demo from Stewie. Demo. Slowing down this push. Smack gets uh, hit a little bit too. Stewie going to keep the ball moving. Grape looking for a way to follow this up. Stewie in the corner, trying to chase down Royal. Not going to oh, be able to connect on that misses. aerial. 30 seconds gone here. Game is still not at zero apiece. Tater, ooh, close oh, so save close. there. Risky play, but able to get away without any early points here oh from LCU. God. Tater great, with a nice- Great defensive coverage from Stewie right there. Yeah, nice pinch. Deflected towards the corner. LCU fielding this well. Process trying to send it back towards Michigan Tech goal. Able to do so. Nice re redirect from Smack. Just barely outside oh the range God. of the goal. Now Process with the follow up. Gonna find it yeah, Royal, just Royal, ready for that out one. Out of nowhere. So many times at this level of Rocket League, you are going to have windows of maybe 10 frames to where you can score a goal. This is exactly that. Just flying past yep. that little sliver of the corner. Royal able to time that up before an MT player can get there. And LCU on top here to start game two early. Royal going to send this one back down the pitch. Grape ready to field it. Sends it right back full force. Looking for a way to get past these players. Not going to find it there. A demo in midfield. Royer take, Royal, excuse me, taking down Tater. Stewie going to deflect that oh one. The my last God. second lucky save there. Process sends it back to the corner. Wants to field this with a little bit more space. Tater pops it up. It's going to wind up in All front right, of the goal. Stewie, a lot of booze. Trying to intersect this aerial. Able to block it. Nice work there. Follow up. Might have a shot here. Process does a great job of stopping that play, though. Keeping it going. Process redirects right towards midfield. Nobody on the Huskies ready to make that shot. Tater needs to get there and make Ow! that save. Able to do so. But still. Gets another push in the corner across the field. It feels like the quality of shots has been leaning heavily towards LCU so far. Michigan Tech having to settle for some really contested stuff. And sometimes they're able to convert those points, but just you can't still, keep relying on Still figuring on out our offensive pressure. A little right. bit. Just need to find a way to get around this defense. So far, LCU reading their offensive schemes really well. Royal going up. Michigan Tech wall here looking for a way to get past. Great. Yeah. Not going to find it there. Schmack with the aerial. rebound. Tater able to get that clear. Yeah. You can see that the offensive pressure is, like, not not as strong. You know what I mean? MTU MT, uh, being able to take the reversal here. Process looking for... A ridiculous flip reset to try to get around Tater there, but not going to find it. Schmacked with the rebound, not going to find that one either. Grape, a little bit of room to work now. Tater gets boosted up the wall by an LCU player. Tater looking to get around Royal, not going to find it there. And the rebound, the clear goes towards LCU. Grape needs to find a way to read this quickly. Halfway through game two, LCU up one to nothing. The margins have been this slim is, this so is, far. This is, this is not, because sometimes it'll be like, oh my oh. God. It'll be like two or three uh, two or three minutes like in the corner. This mm -hmm. has not been one of those games. This has been a lot of like offense to defense, to defense to yeah. offense. The, uh, the, the three modes of Rocket League that I seem to notice are uh, just like, it's stuck in a corner for two minutes. The teams are playing ping pong. The ball's just flying across yep. the pitch left and right. Yep. Or it's just a shootout. And like it, it, it's going to be a little bit of one of those three. So far, it's been a little bit of a ping pong game. <laughs> um, lots of change of possessions. Lots of shots being taken on goal. Not all of them are crazy shots that you expect to go in, but it's just like we're here. We're about to lose the ball. Might as well chuck one up and see what happens. Yeah. Smack with a nice redirect trying to allow a shot for an LCU teammate there, but Stewie able to get the save. Tater with the clear. A good clear, too. Process going to need to surrender a lot of room to Michigan Tech here. Tater not going to find the read that he wants. They're going to defer. Process start the ball rolling once again for LCU. Stewie pops it Getting up. Get out of there. Schmacked. It's going to drop right in front of the Husky goal. Grape's not going to have a ah! read. Schmack goes for the rebound. Not going to find it. Stewie fast break. Gets a demo. Pushing across the field. A little bit of a power play here, but time's running out quickly for Michigan Tech. A minute 15 to go. Still down one. Need some Get offensive of firepower here. right now. Process going to block it at midfield. Grape gets around. That's a potential setup for somebody. Royal going to deflect it and send it right down to Schmack, who's just once again, LCU just has plenty of room to reject the, MC, the MTU offensive pushes. And so far, just not able to find a way through are the Huskies. Assist with process. It's the backboard. And there's another point for LCU. All right. There's a there's a pretty in-depth conversation there with like both teams kind of figuring mm -hmm. out like how do you want to score? How do you want to take possession yeah. of the ball? Right. 
It just be, uh, there's a couple of little things that it, it just seems to be noticing. Like a couple of MTU players just seem to be overreaching at just the wrong times. Like yep. if they give themselves a little bit more time to set up, find another boost pad to actually have the maneuverability to make a given play work, then they could make something happen on defense. But it just feels like they're playing from behind a little bit too much, and they're not giving themselves the time to readjust. Yep, absolutely. Tater tries to force one past Schmack, but not going to get it there. Royal looking for a third goal for Lubbock, not going to find it. Stewie tries to get around one of the LCU players, but not going to get it there either. Final Trying to get out of the seconds. corner, two points, yep. 20 seconds. LCU just happy to play keep away. Don't want to give Michigan Tech any free reads here. Stewie with a bit of a fast break opportunity. Royal quickly denies it, but Stewie ah! looking for a follow-up, not going to find oh it. Schmack and Royal just stalwart on it the looked, defensive line like here. He had it there and he missed it. Final 10 seconds ticking down. If the Huskies want any chance, they need this to turn into a point. It's not going to happen. A point for the road, at least. The Huskies are going to look oh. for it. Ball gets put down. Clock hit zero. Stewie looking to deny at least the 3-0. Going to be able to do so, but Lubbock Christian up 2-0 here in this best of five set. And already the Huskies in pretty dire straits here. They're, they're, just, they're just figuring it out. They're just scouting right now. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Just... Getting shut out in a game two, it's a difficult situation, though. You, like, you got to be worried. Like, it, LCU seems to be adapting pretty quickly to the to Michigan Tech's play style. It, so, it seems like we can't figure out our offensive pressure, it, right? That, that it's seems like, like whenever, issue, whenever yeah. we get something cooking, it's like they're there, like, cutting into mm -hmm. it, right? But, I mean, look at these stats right now. We have a total of, I believe, 13 shots by Lubbock. We have seven saves by Michigan Tech, which sounds really good. But does, like, is that enough? It doesn't seem like it right now. All right, I believe I believe in our Huskies. I believe in MTU bringing it back. They're just they're just figuring it out, right? Mm -hmm. Just getting a read. We'll see if they can do it. Reverse sweeps are they're they're not impossible. We've seen this team do it plenty of times. I mean, one of the first matches I ever casted was a, a championship match for a division championship, and it was a best of seven series. Went down three nothing. Pulled off the reverse sweep. It's it's super possible. It's just it's today going to be one of those days. Obviously, LCU's playing really well right now, so Michigan Tech is going to have to match that pace. But we know this team can do this. They are an incredibly strong roster. It's just going to be a matter of can they get it going right now because they need to. We, Game we three. Need, we need some more great saves, and we need Stewie to just be like <laughs> feel a little mechanical. The one thousand degree knife cutting into a watermelon or something, <laughs> right? Stewie can be that thousand degree knife, though. We've seen it before. Just a couple weeks ago, had that eight goal game oh in Game my three. God. But here so we go. Pretty. Game three underway. Huskies need to win three in a row to take this series and keep their perfect season alive. There's some there's some anger. There's some heat now. Huskies trying to feel themselves. We'll see if they can get it going. Stewie sends the ball back down towards the pitch. Royal going to deflect and go for a pinch. Neutral 50 outcome there. Tater going up towards midfield. Might be able to redirect this. That's a shot on goal. Schmack will be able to get there. Looking for a follow-up. Stewie not going to be in position. There. Keeping it alive. Great might have a read. Ah! Stewie drops it right in front of the LCU goal, but Grape and Tate are too far back to capitalize. Frost is going to send it back, and an unfortunate possession to give up oh, there for the Huskies. Steals possession to the ball. Pushes it across the field. Uh oh, Stewie. A little bit of a miss there from Stewie. Huskies able to field it, though. Oh Grape keeping it alive. Gets oh past two God. players. Process needs to chase He's this nuts. one down. Stewie's not going to get there in time to make a play on a shot here. But Process feeling a little scared there for sure. Almost a fast break opportunity for the Huskies, starting to show some cracks in that defensive armor for LCU. Getting it out of the goal, into the corner. <laughs> like the Rocket League, you know, motto, right? <laughs> Stewie might have a read here. Stewie looking for a juke move, not yeah, gonna find Process it. Process just taking it right there. And a demo oh. on Tater, power play for LCU, looking for a way through. T Stewie gonna be the only one in the goal. Ready to play this one. Royal looking for a follow up. Nobody in great position to make a shot here. Yeah. Schmack goes for it, but not gonna find it. Everyone was there. <laughs> yep. Whatever. When everyone's there and the positions are like set, it's like, yeah, we're we're going to the corner. We'll, it's a we'll, stalemate. We'll, we'll just reset, right? Yeah. Reset to neutral. I don't know. I don't know if Rocket League has neutral. I mean, I, new, neutral is whenever it's a shot isn't being taken. I guess. Oh, okay. Tater with <laughs> nice the great save by save. Tater. Tater has been really solid on defense. It's just that pressure from LCU's offense has just been never ending. It feels like. So we'll see if that defense is going to be enough this game. Grape going to field this one. Keep it low. Might have some boost to work with. Schmack looking for a read on this ball. Stewie going up Just for turning it. Turning up the heat on the offense. Popped up. Grape going to get there first. Process contests it well, though. And just like that, another possession starting to swing for LCU. Tater able to deflect yep. this one well, Ion though. Boost. 
Michigan Tech, I think, is doing pretty well on boost economy right now as well. So do we able to get up and make a play there? Schmack and a redirect. These are the tight games because normally there's like at least one yeah. or one or two uh, goals scored. I remember like one of these games I cast, and we were like up 5-0. Oh yeah, well I mean like in games like this, it, it, it you start to see play style shine through when you get to this level. Yeah. Where like I mean Grand Valley State, for example, is just a really heavy set defensive team. Like if you score more than two goals against them in a game. That's ridiculous. They yeah. never give up that many because they're so defensive-minded. Uh, Michigan Tech and LCU both seem to be playing pretty neutral right now. They're not focusing too heavily on one or the other, but Michigan Tech obviously has been forced into a little bit more of a defensive mindset just because of how effective oh, the offense has been. Tater with the shot! Oh, Bounces go! off the goal post! Three we're going to find it! Talking about the iron defense. Finally Tater able immediately to get through. scores one. I think it had been about seven minutes of game time since Michigan Tech's last goal. Yeah, bringing home the bacon. Eight minutes, excuse me, but able all to right, finally all you need get through. to do is not have another goal happen for another exactly. two minutes, right? These, these games have been really tight. I mean, all you need is a one goal margin. Yeah, actually. That, I mean, I, I believe that 2-0 is the only time we've seen a two goal margin in any of these games so far. It's been it's been pretty crazy. Yeah, I guess, I guess um, you know, my comments about uh, LCU being like, yeah, this is the team that's going to make us sweat a little bit. We're definitely. Yeah, we're sweating for sure. And I immediately know. able to follow up Royal. Counters quickly. MTU giving up a goal in a measly 15 seconds. Not what you want to see. 24 seconds of game time gone there. And just like that, we are tied once again. Michigan Tech needs to break through once again. They got to figure it out. It's the, Oh, it's definitely doable. And I, I, like, I, I think at a certain point, there's a mental game where you're just like, we are able to score against this team after all. Yeah. And that's what they finally yeah, were just I'm able say, to do. Kind of like that the little slump. Two going for the I mean, those, these slumps for like these like you know 15-minute mm -hmm. games, right? Yeah, exactly. Tater looking for a way through. Royal going to contest this one well. Sends it right back. Process with a second clear. LCU looking to take the lead here in game three. Stewie, nice deflection. Great fan Tater shouldn't have too much trouble getting the clear here. They don't, but Schmacked wins a 50 and sends it right back towards LCU's objective. Oh. Blocking the goal there. A minute to go. Schmack going for a flip reset. Decides to uh, back off of it. Tater out of nowhere. Oh, stalemate in the corner. Oh, what, what is this? This is <laughs> just dribbling it there. Great save from Stewie. Pushing across the field. Oh. Oh. Tater, nice move there. Not able to get around process, though. Process, 45 seconds left. Flip reset. Uh, has 30 boost to work with. Nice He wants flip. the aerial Stewie, so bad. There's the importance of patience on defense. Stewie, last person standing that could make that save. Able to do so. Waits to see what exactly... LCU's gonna do, but they're smacked. Where oh my you? goodness, Where what were you? a carry. Tater just tries to play that up. Grape just not able to get a read on what Schmacked is going for. Stewie commits a little bit too early. And yep. just like that, 32 seconds left. Two to one game. And it is now final MTU, seconds MTU sticking down. with that kick. Nice Early demo. demo. Stewie pops it up, sends it to the corner. Tater looking for a way to just keep this ball redirected away from LCU, but the pressure once again on the Husky goal. 20 seconds left. Grape needs to get a juke here. Stewie follows it up. Schmack Obviously, able to counter it, but... Offensive pressure from MTU right now is super heavy. Oh, the drop down. Ah! That's on target. Can Grape get there in time? Oh! No. Process gets the clear. Final seconds ticking down. All right. Need clear. to take repossession of the ball. Get it across the field ASAP. Final seconds. We need a zero second goal here to keep this series alive. Ball's going to go down. Sense pinched over to the corner. Process trying to down this ball, looking for it, and it's going to go down. Lubbock able to pull off the sweep. And there is a new contender starting to shine through in this conference. Really solid say, game there gonna, from LCU. We're getting a taste of our own medicine. We've been 3 0 on people. Yeah. We get we get 3 0 I mean, if you're going to have a wake up call game early in the regular season, this is the time to do it. Yep. Hey, like getting this now, like seeing the level of competition you need to face. To you know, make some noise in your conference. It's really important to get out, get that out of the Obviously, way early. Look, look at look at some vods. Yeah. Be like, oh, I could have been here. I could have been doing this better. Also, you know, I he was doing this, and my teammate was doing this, so I should have been here, right? Also, I got to point out the series score lines three zero, but none of those games were like blowouts. No, nothing there was LCU just dominating on both sides of the ball the whole game. Like yep. Michigan Tech kept themselves in all three of those games. It's just it they just weren't managed, able to make managed it. Managed to get a lead, exactly. right? Exactly. And then, like they had the lead for a couple minutes here and there a few times, but it just. Fell apart really quickly, just not able to convert and in then, clutch yep, time. Yep, not able to, to, to bring it back, so pull yeah. forward. Unfortunate spot there. Um, but looking ahead...
for Michigan Tech Esports. Well. <laughs> um, so on Wednesday at 7 o'clock, the COD team is going to be playing its first ever varsity game uh, against Ferris State Gold. So if you want to see Call of Duty. We have a COD here, team? Yeah. Um, <laughs> apparently we have a COD team. Oh, my team. God. Awesome. But, um, okay. But, yeah, so uh, uh, COD debut match. Ferris State, Wednesday at 7 o'clock, and then on Thursday at 7 o'clock, I know you want to take this one. Uh, Thursday at 7, the Smash team looks to improve to 3-1 against DePaul. I am super, super excited because the last two weeks we haven't been able to cast Smash because of technical <laughs> difficulties. If you've been like following what's going on in the, the department and, uh, I, and I, with MTU Esports at all. So I promise you that we are going to have a Smash stream on Thursday. Whee! As long as nothing goes horrendously wrong, there will be, in fact, be a smash stream this Thursday at Russia 7 o'clock. Russia declares nuclear war. Don't you please don't. <laughs> <laughs> smash um, Bros. is canceled. <laughs> following up on Friday at 7 o'clock, the Counter-Strike team is going to try to keep their perfect season alive, taking on the University of Mississippi. So another really big headliner match there. Excited to see if uh, Counter-Strike can keep their perfect season going. Yeah, and rounding out the week, the MTU Overwatch team will play another doubleheader in the Overwatch Collegiate Homecoming League. The match times are 2 and 4.30, and the first opponent will be Michigan State. Yeah, it's going to be – and I'm not really familiar with Michigan State Overwatch, but obviously whenever you play a big school, there's a little bit of – I was like, Michigan, Michigan State's a big school. Yeah. Right? yeah <laughs> so, so, like, I mean, you got to think they have a really like, solid oh Overwatch. Oh, my God. Players. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, but thank you again for all of our partners for supporting MTU Esports. Thank you all so much for watching. We appreciate it. Uh, I've been Scrimby. Uh, I'm Jevin. Go by Asleth. Watch my YouTube videos. There you go. <laughs> Thank you all so much again for watching. We'll see you next time. Have a great night, everybody. Go Huskies. See you.